Have you ever felt restricted and controlled by the bad habits that you repeat every day despite your desire to get rid of them? Do you feel that your life is trapped within a few choices because you always fail to control yourself and your actions? If your answer is yes, then you need to change your brain, you need to break bad habits, learn how to conquer self-destructive behaviors, and overcome addiction, whatever its form, through practical approaches based on psychological and neuroscience studies. Rewire by Richard O'Connor There are two selves, a conscious self and an automatic self. The conscious self is the will and it is the decision maker and it pushes the whole body to respond to those decisions, for example, when you decide to hold a pen and write, so you think and plan, then you move your hand muscles willingly. As for the automatic self, it makes immediate response without the need to think or make decisions, as if they were programming codes that were previously placed in the mind, to push the body to do automatic things without exhausting the mind with planning or thinking, like someone who has become a professional driver, so that he drives the car effortlessly, while talking on the phone or having a drink. An automatic self can be defined as a set of actions and reactions that have a physical existence in the structure of the brain. Their early traces were laid down in childhood and adolescence, and you practice them more and more without reviewing them, and these actions are usually unharmful, but for example, if one of the habits is overeating when feeling sad, here it becomes a bad habit. It is necessary to know that these habits are in the form of cells and neural bridges and they have a physical existence inside the mind, and therefore they are very strong, and you cannot simply kill or remove these cells. But the only solution to overcome them is to ignore them until they waste away like inactive muscles, and you should develop healthy habits and skills, and practice them daily, and with time, continuity, and persistence, you will find that the automatic self has become programmed with new good habits, and you won't need more effort to implement them. Bit to remember, your mind may be programmed to practice bad habits. The automatic self has hidden triggers, which you may never be aware of, because they are engraved in the automatic self far from the conscious mind, and one of the most famous triggers is feelings. They are hidden feelings such as the hidden fear of success, or anger towards someone who hurt you, or feelings of envy or hatred towards others, and other feelings that are difficult to discover, but in fact they are the main motivation behind your bad habits that you want to get rid of. Rather, the automatic self denies those feelings, as a kind of self-defense mechanism, until denial becomes a harmful lifestyle such as, the heavy smoker or the addict who denies the negative effects of drugs on his life and his family's life. To solve this dilemma, you should train the automatic self, as we mentioned, to exercise self-control. The exercise is called mindfulness meditation. The exercise steps are as follows, first, find a quiet place to sit in a comfortable position, upright. Second, close your eyes and focus on the movement of the breath only and prevent any thoughts that try to distract you. Third, try to sit quietly for at least half an hour, and if thoughts or memories hit you, quickly try to prevent them and refocus. If you repeat this exercise daily, you will become more able to control yourself and your feelings, and you will become able to examine your feelings and desires, with complete clarity and self-reconciliation, so that you can address any feelings and then the habits that result from them. Through this exercise, you will become calmer, more focused, and more creative in your work and life. Bit to remember, fear and denial are examples of the automatic self-triggers. Many people complain about their lack of will, to the extent that they aren't able to break their bad habits, and they say that they can't control their cravings or desires, they describe themselves as impulsive, reckless, and are easily angered, and they do not have control over these actions. The common mistake made by such people is that their understanding of the willpower is wrong. Will is a skill that can be acquired through training and mental exercises, and it is not a characteristic found only in some people. The exercise of mindfulness meditation, as we mentioned, is one of those mental exercises, but there are many other exercises, including the willpower exercise, and an example of it is trying to control the habit of overeating. An obese person can't control his desire to eat an unhealthy sandwich, because willpower does not doesn't occur suddenly. You need at least three months of food refusal attempts to be able to automatically refuse unhealthy food. 
since he has to try daily to refuse unhealthy food, he will succeed once and fail once, but each successful time increases his chances of success in the future, and by strengthening his will daily over months, it becomes easy for him to stay away from unhealthy food. This exercise can be practiced mentally, and it will give the same amazing results, just by imagining your refusal of unhealthy foods, for example, you can imagine yourself as a superhero refusing all kinds of sandwiches and sweets, as if you are sending nervous commands to the automatic self teaching it how to refuse these foods, and even make it happy with this achievement. Happiness exercises also have an effective role in increasing willpower and self-confidence. The more you imagine your success in what you want to do, the more powerful you will feel and your desire to control your desires. You can also practice happiness exercises by imagining your small successes throughout the day, for example, refusing candy, and then enjoying the feeling of achievement, because achievement stimulates the automatic self in repeating the same actions to feel satisfied, as this feeling is considered a reward. These various exercises can be practiced to get rid of any bad habit, such as smoking, irritability, binge shopping, or depression. Bit to remember, willpower and self-control exercises have a great impact on getting rid of bad habits. If you compared our lives today with the lives of our ancestors, you will see the great difference between their feeling of happiness and their health that are better than our health and our feelings of happiness today. And the secret is that their lives were simple, as in their small communities, each one of them simply knew his role, and there was no television that shows bad news about the world every day or shows the various products offered in advertisements, to the extent that the decision becomes stressful, and they used to live in small villages where the fresh air is, and they never needed the air conditioners that we use today. As for our age, it is characterized by stress and exhaustion, as each individual searches for his role in life, and pursues his great ambitions until he becomes exhausted, to the extent that the idea of self-control and willpower becomes stressful, all that tension harms the nervous system, and makes it less able to make the right decisions, and allows the automatic self to intervene in order to relax the mind. So you find yourself automatically tending to eat large amounts of food to feel happy, or to watch TV or browse the internet for many hours to feel comfortable, or to buy products that you do not need just to feel fulfilled or satisfied, and trying to violate these habits will be a threat to your inner happiness, and you will feel more stressed. If you are tired of your many attempts, and you decided not to try again, then you need to relax, and take a long time to recover from the impacts of the living conditions, and you have the right to give yourself some time to decide to take a break from decisions, as if you are giving your brain muscles some rest to feel relaxed before getting back to your mental exercises again. You can relax yourself by getting plenty of sleep, practicing meditation and silence, enjoying the happy moments of the day with your loved ones, developing your sense of humor and play, so laugh more, play more, and when you decide to come back you will be more creative, strong, and in control of yourself. Bit to remember, exhaustion and stress are the main reasons of practicing bad habits, 